Hey folks, you remember this shot about three, four years ago? Black Hill, South Dakota, back in the same spot I was elk hunting. Got a any whitetail tag in my pocket. Time to go do it. Just about sunrise. All right, folks, welcome to the 2020 deer hunt, Black Hill, South Dakota. <clears throat> it's actually day three. I was way down at the south end. I got an elk tag for that area, so I wanted to go scout around that a little bit. There's actually no deer down there. No, they're in rut, pre-rut. There's no rubs, no scrapes, no tracks. We had about a quarter inch, half inch of snow. It's melted off down there now, but there's nothing down there. Unbelievable. So I come up here, this is where I elk hunted twice, two years in a row. I think that was four and five years ago. Uh, I went in on the ridge that I actually shot both those elk. And the snow was really crunchy, it just fell tonight. So I thought, well, I'll drive around and get my bearings straight with the roads, how everything runs, and uh, I come up to this ridge. Every time I walked it, I kicked deer off it, I kicked elk off it. So that's my game plan. I get up here, and what do I find? What better sign is that? That's a pretty good size rub. That's about a three inch tree. Anyway, up the hill we go. Hang on. An awesome place to spend the morning or what? Got some timber cutting a couple miles east of here. Close enough you can hear the trees drop, hit the ground when they're done. I haven't seen any deer yet, but there's a lot of tracks. They're all going east or west. Uh, but we're hoping. Another calling card for one of the guys I'm looking for. That's from about two foot off the ground to four foot off the ground. That is a big buck doing that damage. Not an elk. That's a whitetail. I just love to run into him. Yeah, oh, there's a big one. That's definitely elk. There's busted branches. At least a foot and a half over my head yet. But, behind it over there, there's one there of the right shot size. There's a couple of them right there. Oh, there's another one over there somewhere. Got a lot of rub activity back here. I was over on that there ridge. Oh, right in the sun. Most of the tracks are going on the camera from right to left. I think there's a big bedding area up here somewhere or in this area. We're just gonna tiptoe through the tulips and see what we can find. There's some real spooky ones. Small group bighorns. They keep trying to get them established out here. Dropping small herds like this in different areas. That one's got a thing on her. Got an ear tag and a bell around her neck. They keep trying to get them reestablished. Or established, not reestablished. I don't think they were here. Well, I got two walks in up here today. I did this ridge here, two ridges south. I did both of them. I'm going to do the one in the middle. There's deer moving out here where the sun hit and melted the snow. It's real quiet. You get up there, there's snow. Squeak, squeak, squeak crunch, crunch. Then the debris on the ground. Not very good stalking conditions. Uh, time, a knee that's not telling me, talking to me the way I like it to talk to me. And uh, the fact that I got no meat in the freezer at home outside of some walleyes and catfish and some grouse, it's decision making time. If I get a doe, I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna take some meat home if I can get it today and drive home yet uh, at last resort. I can hunt till about noon tomorrow and then I gotta skin out for home. I'm gonna go try her one more time. Yeah, there's another one. 
This guy definitely likes them two and a half, three inch trees. It's got to be a big buck. I run uh, right up on this ridge top right now. I'll show you where I am. Oh, maybe 50, 75 yards from the top. I bet if I stay here, that last one's only back there about 150, 200 yards. I bet every couple hundred yards he's got a collar. And they starts rubbing. Or, uh, excuse me. Yeah, and they start rubbing. Or making scrapes. Get my thoughts straight here. They start making scrapes, so that's just going to be a hell of a place to be sitting. A lot of trees to hang a tree stand in if you're a bow hunter. That's a short 255 yards up that hill. Four, maybe five point buck, not big. I can't believe he ran away. I've never had a run gun. Never had one run from a 25 cal. I know that bush up there is pretty distinct, so it's not gonna be hard to walk up there and find it. And he took off. I didn't see him. He went about 100 yards and he some thick stuff and I can't see past that. I think I found him. Not a streak of blood on the ground or nothing. That is the very, very first time I've ever seen a deer not dropping its tracks. Oh boy! Ain't that bad. Not bad at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice buck. Right through the lungs. Cannot believe that deer ran. I cannot, absolutely, as many deer and antelope as I've shot with this thing. Man, that's a fucking hoss too. That is a big deer. That is a big buck. Now well, folks, Way down here at the bottom of that hill, 255 yards up. I got two hours to get him skinned, boned, and I'm gonna head to the truck. Gonna be a good one. Got a lot of good eating meat there. Thanks a lot for coming along. It was a fun, great hunt.